today is around assessment. Yes, assessment drives our students. We all say we need that we need to know that they know what we want them to know. But yeah, the students hate it. Quite frankly, most of us hate it. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah. Workload, huge. So if there's real problems around the way we assess, does it just have to be that way? No, I don't think it does. I think we have to start being smarter and you know, some of you have heard me saying this before because I've been going around to the different courses and, and chatting a bit. We need to do a little bit much smarter, much more effectively. But, gee, here's another thought. We think we can make it fun as well. <laughs> or we might be able to, who knows? And hopefully out of today's discussion, we'll get some ideas around things that we might do for assessment to make it something that is effective, but also have it has a point and might well be enjoyable for our students, not to mention ourselves. So a good topic and I'm really happy it's a good one for us to start with. It's very important for me to say thank you to everybody who's contributing today, and I do read this a just to make sure I don't miss a country or a place out. We've got presenters coming in from New Zealand, Canada, South Africa, Wollongong, Canberra, and the Great Republic of Dickman, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, and again, imagine you're not having to pay the fund to do this, to get all of that expertise, and we've got a community where we can share our expertise. So I think that's a, a terrific achievement. I particularly want to thank Lee, and that wasn't part of his notes to me. <laughs> and he'll now probably crawl under the table. <laughs> Uh, any of you that have had any different students or you will know his passion for, for open and available education and for sharing, for making things simple rather than more complicated. It's a tremendous passion. As his supervisor, sometimes I have to pull him right at me because I have to be pragmatic about what we do. But I keep saying to him, don't lose the passion. This is really important. So we well, thank you and thank you for your time. Uh, I also need to explain that we're uh, webcasting, which I'm eternally grateful because I've been torn between I'm being with some things today, I'm sure many of you are too. So I'm going to webcast into some of this and attend to some of it as well, depending on where I need to be at what point in time. But we are webcasting it, we're recording it. We'll put up a website afterwards, uh, for a lot of one. It's just it's better on that, a DVD. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but what that means is we're creating material for everybody who something could be come to that for all sorts of good reasons. There'll be a permanent record of this so that if this is another form of staff development. People can come and be part of the conversation, they can also access the materials further down the track. And I think that's a really important record for us to be building up as we go along. And we did that with the last open conference we ran here and that again we see what we continue to do. So I think that's extremely important. But even more important is the excitement to get out of getting a group of people together, out of sharing ideas, coming from all sorts of different areas and backgrounds, and that's something we really want to keep going is that excitement and enthusiasm for what we do as teachers. With that, I'll say thank you. I will mute an out and I apologise for that, but I'll be through as much of it either online or here as I can. And I'll hand over to you to get the program going. You see, before the mic on, we've got to do it in two minutes. <laughs>